Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News. Russia has 10 times the tactical nuclear weapons as the United States and has visibly and repeatedly threatened to use them against Ukraine, NATO, and the West throughout its long-standing war effort in Ukraine. Tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus is the latest curve in the West's long-standing worry about Russia's massive arsenal of tactical nuclear weapons, something cited recently in a Reuters essay detailing steps forward with Russia's move to place nuclear weapons in Belarus. Now, according to that Reuters write-up, Russia is believed to operate as many as 2,000 tactical nuclear warheads as compared to the U.S.'s 200 tactical nuclear warheads. According to the referenced essay, Belarusian forces are already armed with Iskander M missiles capable of carrying both conventional or nuclear warheads. Russian Su-25 fighter aircraft have also reportedly been modified to carry nuclear weapons. We have seen reports that uh, Russia, well, we've seen the threats, we've heard the threats, we've read the threats by Russia uh, using nuclear weapons on Ukraine, on NATO, on the UK, and those would not be tactical nuclear weapons. Everything seems to be pointing to this the way I see it, ladies and gentlemen. We are moving toward the quick use of nuclear weapons in that area of the world on some level or another. And say they were uh, tactical nukes, smaller scale nukes, more pinpoint nukes uh, used against uh, NATO crane forces. How would NATO itself respond? This is a situation that certainly would keep us on a knife's edge. It is though there is this desire for these to be used. And especially now with uh, Vladimir Putin, if you look at some reporting that says that he is uh, fearing for his life, he is fearing a coup, uh, he has uh, had alleged assassination attempts. You could even include those drones that struck the top of the Kremlin, even though those could have been a Russian funky Frida. Uh, he might get desperate. It almost, it seems to me as though there is a desire for these weapons by the world elites to be used. How much power do the world elites have on Russia and China for that matter? But the point is, I'm babbling too much here. We are moving in this direction and it's something that we need to be prepared for mentally, physically, spiritually, and psychologically. And with that, please remember the words of Jesus as written in Matthew chapter 6, verses 33 through 34, which say, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble." Indeed, my friends, we have trouble today, but press into Jesus with everything you have. He is all that we need, and we will rise above. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.